temperature and we're currently charging and uh, this is our little display here you can see we're currently uh, connected up here to charge a 72 volt battery bank which is uh, six of these gel batteries here and uh, our power is coming straight from the 240 volts here we're running straight from the 240 and we're currently drawing uh, it's about 0 0.2, 0 0.3 of an amp from the 240 AC supply everything here seems to be behaving itself um, a few things I'll have to change in here but it's uh, Seems okay so far. The current uh, charge here. And, um, I'll have to better calibrate the um, uh, the little inbuilt um, of a little uh, trimmer pot in there. You can see it down there for uh, just to set up the voltage um, measuring on the. A to D there, so seems to be a little bit of um, bit of play in it, but seems okay thus far. Got it set just for a brief charge. You see the time out there is only uh, four minutes to go, and uh, so this is our battery bank here. Heard a little cooling fan going there. This is our um, IGBT three wheel diode and output diode all on this heat sink here. Current shunt is here. Uh, the transformer that I took out of the uh, plasma cutter and the plasma cutter filter choke is here as well. And over here. Um, you can see too well there, but uh, got the RCD uh, main circuit breaker, which is 32 amps. Contactor, um, auxiliary fuse in there, the small guy, and the big battery fuse beside him. It's a bit of DIN rail terminal there, just for hooking up the battery ground. Got a uh, two 470 microfarad caps in there, don't have any, you can't see too well into the box. Check on the, that might make it a bit easier, you see them there better probably now. Yeah. Uh, let's see how we're getting on here, about three minutes to go. You see the little control board in there, it's just a little interface board really just for driving uh, from driving the IGBT and uh, just uh, sensing current and voltage. I'm going to change. I think I'm going to change that current shunt there to a to a, to a kind of a Hall effect um, sensor. I'm going to try to isolate the voltage uh, sensing with a with a linear um, opto. And we'll see how that comes about. I'm about, about out of tape here at this stage, so just to show you that um, pretty good charger, and I'm going to discharge this pack now overnight. And we'll do a full charge cycle with float and um, absorption charge on it in the morning hopefully. Now this is our battery charger. As you can see it's a fairly tidy case. Just got to put a bit of ducting on there. And uh, yeah the whole thing came together um, fairly well but you know obviously there's a few things I'd change even at this stage now but that's the whole uh, I guess that's the whole idea. Um, 
or typing something. So I am overall very happy with this now so far. I might have enough tape left to finish the cycle. I have two minutes to go. Just about two minutes to go there. So it's about a five volt error there on that guy, so to play with that to uh, 